So my goal right now is to help you build forms that look good and build them fast. So we're going to do so with this products table as an example. And I got to say under the create tab, the ability to use the form tool to create what we sometimes call an auto form is amazing. It's really, really fast and powerful. However, sometimes it doesn't look quite the way that you want to start off with. For example, I really typically recommend, and those were in the layout view here, so we can interact with the environment while still looking at data. Uh, this first field, the, the product ID, why do we need to see this? We probably don't. It's just getting in the way. Delete it. Just select it, press delete, you're good to go. Now you notice everything shifted up. That's because by default, when we use this form tool, it uses sections. Uh, this, if we select a field and then click in the upper left hand corner, you can see it actually will show us the entire section uh, grouping that it has. In fact, there's even a section within a section as it has a subform. Now, sometimes we get frustrated with this because, for example, I take a particular uh, field like this weight field. I'm like, I'd like that to be a little smaller. Let me shrink that down to just the right size. And oh, it's too small. Oh, no, because it assumes that you want them all the same size like a table. And while that may be true, a lot of times it's not. So here are some options to use this tool while not getting frustrated by sections. The easiest thing to do is to select the section tool over here and then right click not on this upper left hand corner, but on any field and you'll get a bunch of layout tools. Uh, we can insert, we can merge and split, we can select rows and columns and under layout, if we want, we could just remove it all together. Now it's just like we created it in the design view. Any particular field could be selected, enlarged. They're no longer related to each other. There is no section guide uh, that's working with this. But let me undo that so that the section is back because another option is to work with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and once again, select it all and then go to here to insert. We're going to insert a column to the right of the columns we already have. We'll select these bottom three rows here by clicking and shift clicking, and then we'll drag and drop all the way up here in the upper right hand corner. Now you can see by doing that, we've got this new association, this new way that this layout is created. And now I could select a field and widen it. And it's widening that column of fields. Take date first purchase, do the same thing there. We can take our row and shrink it up here so it's not quite so tall. All right, we have some tools now to be able to work with this in a way that looks good. Now we've got all this extra space here, so I'm gonna click and shift click this group of cells, right click and choose to uh, delete those rows, that space we don't need. But now this subform's all crunched up here in the corner, no problem, we'll select that and then hold down shift to select the rest of that row, right click and we're going to go to merge split and merge those cells so that they act like a single block. So we're using the section guide instead of allow, instead of having it use us, right? Much better way to go. Now there's a certain default look and feel that this has. And while we can change the background colors and the fonts and everything individually, one thing to look for in whipping up forms quickly is the use of themes. And this is over on the design tab here. Themes allow us to adjust the font and the color scheme very quickly. Maybe there's a default theme that works for you, or maybe you want to create your own. Maybe there's a specific font you'd like to use. Maybe there's a specific color palette that you'd like to use. And you can even go to customize colors, tie in your own corporate colors in a way that makes sense. Give that a name and save it. So that saves the color scheme. Then we can take the specific font and color scheme that we have and save that as a whole theme. Now, when we go to themes, we can select from the default Microsoft themes that are available and we can select our particular custom theme that we have here. Here's custom theme 2000. And when we go to build other forms down the road, it's using the same theme that was used last, but even if it didn't, we could always select it because it's gonna be available right here to pick and choose from in the themes picker. Now, one last thing I wanna show you, we've gotta to go to our design view to see. So we'll go ahead and save this. And here in the design view, what I want to show you is that instead of using the default table name label that's been added here, a lot of times it's better and more visually attractive and easier to work with if we go ahead and use a text box. Because text boxes look like a label, but incorporate in live data. So we drop this in, it's got a default label that's associated with it, we'll delete that. And then I want it to look like the default label does. So I'm going to copy the initial label and then I'm going to go to paste formatting and uh, get it to look like the initial label. We'll double click to change that. We'll go ahead and head to align and align them up to the top. That looks good. We'll take that default label, get rid of it. 
We'll go ahead and resize this so it's now slid over here. Okay, looks great, except that there's nothing in it. What are we gonna put in it? So we start with an equal sign to say, look out, here comes a formula. Quotes to say, look out, here comes text. We're gonna have the word products. Actually, let's make it singular. Product, colon, space, end quote. So now it's just gonna say that text. If we put it in, it's basically a really complicated way to do a label. But instead of doing that, we're gonna add the ampersand for concatenation to join it with something else. And we're gonna join it with a field. So we use the square bracket to identify a field and the field we're gonna reference is product underscore name in this case. And then close the square bracket. Press enter, it's set. Let me show you what this looks like here in the form view. So now up here at the top, it says product gadget. Now it says the same thing down here, but it's big and bold and easy to see. And as we scroll through the different records, you can see how much more quickly you can see what product you're looking at. Here's a product where the name accidentally got deleted. Let's put it back. It's product 2000. And notice as soon as I tab completed, that value is updated up here at the top. So this is a dynamic view of the current value as it's stored in this database. All right, well, thank you for joining me and taking the time to look at how we can build forms faster. And I really do recommend leverage that default form tool, get better at using or ignoring the default layout and section tools that come with it, and look for opportunities to use text boxes rather than trying to join together labels and fields in a more manual way. Use concatenation within text fields and you're gonna get some really cool looking uh, values that show exactly what you want the way that you want it. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.